In this video, I wanted to show you how to make scallion pancakes, but I'm going to show you that it's okay to fail. Now, I'm someone who likes to push the boundaries a little bit too much. I like to do things a little bit differently, but I want to show you how it came out anyway. Here I'm adding water to the chopped scallions and I decided to blend them this way I can fold it into the dough. Normally you chop the scallions and you just place them in the dough that way, but I wanted to try something differently. So far everything is good. I'm adding the salt to the flour, but where I make the mistake is I add all of the liquid instead of adding the liquid in stages. I truly believe this recipe could have came out great if I was patient with the dough. As you see here, my dough is too wet, but I decided to proceed anyway. I'm shaping the dough like I'm supposed to, and I also let the dough rest anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I'm adding a little bit more flour. This way I can separate the dough and work with them individually. Ideally, you want to use your hand to roll the dough into a cylinder and then you use a rolling pin to flatten the dough out. I kind of knew at this point that it wasn't going to work out, but I was hoping that the extra flour would bring the dough together. I decided to push the boundaries even more by adding chili oil, roasted garlic seasoning, and some sesame seeds to the dough. I'm not gonna lie, this is looking really beautiful. It's almost like a mini pizza in the making. When I started to roll the dough, I started to gain some hope back just because of the way the dough felt in my hand. The only issue is I should have rolled the dough just a little bit thinner because when I tried to coil it up, it was a little bit too big. You always want to pull this flap over along the entire dough because you do not want anything to fall out. I decided to add a little bit more flour and then I rolled the dough back out again. This way all of the seasonings are inside of the dough. All I'm doing is rolling the dough as thin as I can. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna repeat the process and this is the way I'm gonna shape it into the little pancakes that you're supposed to fry in the pan. This is what the finished product is supposed to look like. In a very hot cast iron pan, I'm adding my sesame oil and then I'm going to add the pancake. This is what happens when you push the boundaries a little bit too far. But on the other side, I've created something different. So I made the best of it. I decided to slice them up anyway. I'm someone who does not waste food. I made the best of it. They still tasted good, but they weren't as fluffy as they normally are. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's okay to fail, but that's how you learn. Thank you for watching.